Hello and welcome to DeerHunter.net What we've got here is the Deer Hunter Tempest Jacket Now this is not to be confused with the Tempest Anorak right? um, If you're actually looking for that, there is a separate review video of that particular garment um, Just a little introduction um, I've been shooting for the best part of 40 years and over the years, I have tried just about every type of shooting clothing you can lay your hands on. Some very major brands, some very minor brands, even military surplus. And at the end of the day, it's just trying to find that ideal jacket and the ideal pair of trousers and the gloves and the hats and so forth, right? That is really going to give you the very best of everything that you can need. And I came across Deer Hunter. I had a world with deerhunter.net and um, I've been producing review videos for the past 13 years thereabouts and we thought that the, the product range would benefit from some actual usage as well as the reviews. Now everything that you see reviewed is, it's been used, it's been used for its intended purpose. I together with my son, we shoot shotgun, Full bore, small bore rifle, air rifles, 99% rough shooting, right? Um, and at the end of the day, we really have given Deer Hunter clothing a very, very good run for its money. And when it comes down to the nitty gritty, it has all performed extremely well. Now, one thing I'll make a point of, I do not exaggerate or lie in any review that I do. Everything that you hear is the absolute truth, and I stand by it 100%. Um, it's enough of me waffling, let's just actually get on and take a look at this this um, this jacket. First of all, we'll start off with the actual material that it's made of. Right Now, one of the most important things for me, and I'm sure you, right, if you're an active um, hunter, right, you want a fabric that is quiet. And one thing I'll say, all of the deer hunter clothing that we've tried so far is just that this material that they've chosen is extremely quiet right it's um i'm going to say it's 99.9% .9 silent right just to safeguard myself because i know somebody out there will make it make a sound of some description and you'll try and prove me wrong <coughs> i mean the actual construction the stitching the welding and so forth has been done to the very highest standard now on top of actually using these, we've been using this stuff now for about the past three months thereabouts. Um, it's all been washed several times, um, just to make sure that what I'm gonna to say to you today is the absolute truth in the way that this performs. Now, going beyond the outer fabric, right, I've gotta say, this is very warm to the touch. It's quite nice if you've left this hanging up, I mean, we use a, a Land Rover and if it's been hanging up in the back of the Land Rover for a couple of weeks since it was the last use, it's very nice to, to pick it up because it feels nice. Um, none of that clammy, wet, stodgy, sticky wax cotton that you find up there, especially in the winter months when it starts going rock solid. Um, the inner, inside of it again is a nice sort of fleecy feel to it. It's, it's very much, the outside's like a brushed nylon and the inside is uh, like a, a very fine micro fleece. But sandwiched in between those, you have a membrane called Deertex. Now, you probably haven't heard of Deertex, right? If you go onto Deer Hunter's website, you'll find a bit of information there about it. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, um, if you've not heard of that, you've probably heard of Gore-Tex. Now, I've got a couple of top end Gore-Tex jackets. This jacket, is as breathable and as waterproof as those Gore-Tex jackets that I've got. <coughs> Sorry, so I feel quite comfortable making the comparison. So when it comes down to it, right, you've got yourself something that's, that's nice and warm, it's windproof, it's waterproof, right, it's gonna give you a good all round service as all of the Deer Hunter stuff that we've used, right? It's, it's just really getting to a point now where you, there's nothing bad that I can say about it because it's been put through the mills and uh, it's, it's really performing very very well. Um, start off at the, the, the cuffs, you've got a neoprene, or I guess it's neoprene uh, panel in here which gives a nice bit of stretch, it's also nice and warm around your wrists, you've got velcro adjusters so you can cinch this down nicely down round to your wrists. The, um, the way that the 
the sleeves are actually stitched in it's double stitched right everything you know, there's, there's no faults or concerns there right you've got hand warmer pockets up here on your chest right inside those hand warmer pockets you have two flaps which I'm sure you're very well aware of the fact that they are pocket flap retention straps now the actual pockets the um, the pockets down so on the front of your thighs on the earplugs um, the pockets down on the front of your thighs more than enough room in there to get a box of 25 cartridges in each pocket so, it, <coughs> so if you're not into your cartridge bags or your cartridge belts loads of room there right for for shotgun cartridges magazines whatever it is that you're needing right there's plenty of room there box of bullets right it's just not an issue right and those straps they sit nice and comfortably in those hand warm pockets now on the chest here you have two pockets which go from there to there right so they are quite a size and they come across to here now the good thing about those I mean more than enough room in there for a good size mobile phone but they have waterproof zippers okay proper sealing waterproof zippers now the main zip down the front of the jacket is not waterproof it doesn't need to be you've got the storm flap goes over the front so that keeps things nice and snug in there never had any leakage from this at all in any area right the um, the other side it's exactly the same size so you know plenty of room there the bit I do like about this any weakness with any waterproof zipper is when you actually do the zip right up to the top you'll end up with that slight gap there but dear hunter have covered that with what I call these little zipper garages I don't know what the, the technical name is right but that's what I call them um, one thing I do like I find that a lot of organized shoots that we might attend <coughs> sorry Together, especially on rifle shooting with the sun, we're always in radio contact, right, for the safety side of things. Up here, the top of the left shoulder, you've got a nice size radio pocket there, which I can't really get my hand in, but comes down to roughly here. So you'll get a, a reasonable size radio in there. Keeps it up nice and high, so the antenna height is, is there, so you're not body blocking with you to stick it in a, a front pocket or a, a waist pocket <coughs> sorry now I've got this this is the the Tempest jacket now my son has got the Tempest anorak and I got this first and one of the reasons that I went for this is the fact that I carry rifles on a shoulder sling right you've also got bags that you may carry with you as well and the one thing that really attracted me to this and these do appear on some of the deer hunter jackets but not all of them to my knowledge if you're watching this deer hunter please put these on all of your jackets but what they've got on the top of each shoulder is this pimpled rubberized panel now that is absolutely superb with a, a rifle sling bag sling they don't slip I have not had and I've used this a lot I have not had any slippage off of the shoulders with any bag strap or rifle strap. Right now to me that's a very very important thing right and I'd love to see that on every deer hunter coat. You've got a hood, it's made of the same material as the coat which is nice, it's a very warm hood. Right, the um, it's a zip attachment to the main jacket. It doesn't tuck away into the collar at all but then if you did it would be a bit bulky but the fact is with it it is a nice warm hood for winter use you've got your double poppers there under the chin this all fits down underneath the, uh, over the top of the collar you can cinch down the the opening with these shot cord adjusters you also have a volume adjuster on the back so you can keep the size and the bulk of the hood down to a bare minimum Right, let's turn the jacket over. Right, um, nothing really to report on the back, but just to give you a nice clear look at it. Right, you've got shot called waist adjusters, right, um, and also round the bottom hem of the coat. 
and they adjust with it's a decent size, about four mil shock cord there, right together with your usual adjusters here. These adjusters they do work, they haven't scrimped and tried to save on the quality of the extras on this coat at all, right? They've really um gone to town and used the best that they can lay their hands on, right? Uh, which is quite nice. Right now on the inside of the coat. No actual inside pockets as such. If you wanted to, you could stitch a panel of material on the inside there if you wanted to create an inside pocket at all. Um, that's obviously your choice. There's no inside pockets as standard. Um, the jacket itself has proven really great. We've been out in all sorts of weathers. I mean, hot and cold. Right, and living in <coughs> the sunny UK, unfortunately, we get a tremendous amount of wet weather, right, and <laughs> maybe a bit too much. But it's never leaked, I've never had any problems with it. It's nice and warm on those cool nights, and it's reasonably cool on those warm, warmer days. So it is a good all round jacket. I noticed that um, Deer Hunter have got a lot of summer wear, so if you're in a particularly hot country, you might not want to go as heavy duty as this. Plenty of choice. Please, one thing, if you're interested in Deer Hunter clothing, subscribe to this channel. There will be other videos published on Deer Hunter clothing in the future. If you're a subscriber, you get the subscription, or sorry, the subscriber notification that will come up in your subscription list. The other little thing is, if you have any questions, the one thing I cannot do is to answer every single question that may arise in one video. Questions always arise, no matter how minor you think it is, drop me a line. If I can't answer the question, I'll find someone that can. But one thing I guarantee you is that you will get the correct answer. When you get around to ordering these from any, anything at all from DeerHunter.net, one bit of advice that I would give you, and this is following a conversation with DeerHunter, uh, DeerHunter.net this is, <coughs> Sorry. I found that their sizing from catalogue to actual product sizing varies a little bit it's not majorly a problem but it does vary a little bit when you get around to the ordering page on deerhunter.net there's a little panel there where you can actually put in additional information um put in there the exact sizes that you want any garment jacket trousers hats what have you put it in inches or centimeters that way when you get to open the package at your front door you're going to make sure you've got the right product that comes out of it saves any mess about having to send things back and so forth but please any questions drop me a line thanks for watching bye bye